being on the conspiracy. But by the way, uh, invest in my my uh, rice girl logos and uh, the rice girl. Uh, let's just say with the patriotic flag. So uh, phase one is uh, of course testing the market. Uh, I might as well put it on. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Yeah, like I was saying uh, to you, seemingly a little booby, but whatever. You know, people like boobs, so <laughs> uh, too bad if you're offended. Uh, but I will have a version that's uh, less booby-ish. Okay, see if I can get this thing on. Uh, I need a hand. I can't possibly get the arm in there. Anyway, I cut this one myself. Why? So it looks like a a uh, muscle shirt. Yahoo! Um, uh, I was sort of elated. This well, Charlene and the Rice Girl, as you know, I'm uh, paddling the logo, the uh, cartoon. Uh, see that with the walk will travel. Uh, basically, uh, she is a uh, um, uh, hardworking. Uh, self-sustainable that's such a popular word uh, immigrant uh, who in fact respect the flag respect the country and respect uh, the Constitution of the United States of America instead of uh, I guess trying to fleece the country and I'm not better than other people I mean I went through a period of time it's really really difficult and uh, you know, there's a lot of dirt there, but hey, he who has no sin uh, shall cast the first stone or rock or whatever. Um, so anyways, uh, go to this uh, paypal.me slash uh Send me a donation, more than $25, and you can request either a t-shirt or a uh, movie. Uh, all right, the Rice Girl movie with Pat Morita, and I just discussed it with a friend of mine. I guess if you don't recognize, that's uh, uh, what's his name, the Long Gun Man, X Files, Long Gun Man, Dean Haglund, uh, Estevez, Joe Estevez, look just like what Martin Sheen, and it's Pat Morita, Martin Cove, and uh, Ian Liskow. Uh, so you can request that, or, uh, and uh, you know, check it out for yourself. It's a comedy. Uh, it's not nothing to do with uh, what the current trend of politics. So, uh, but it has a a good, positive, I believe so, uh, message that uh, even if you're wallowing uh, in the lowest, the darkest uh, uh, pit of, uh, uh, I guess <laughs> Hollywood, uh, there's hope. <laughs> there's hope for all of us. Uh, there's hope uh, for New England Patriots and, you know, they try to beat on this and the haters, uh, when I say the haters, uh, that's everybody. There's all kinds of conspiracy theory about, oh, the revs are for the Patriots, uh, even the little clip that people are just so um, agonized because uh, seemingly the dynasty doesn't want to stop. Uh, why? Why should we stop? You know, remember Donald Trump says that we're going to be tired of winning. And I like the fact that if uh, uh, we're winning so much, we're just like, ooh, it's... At one time I had, I coveted lobsters, but I caught <laughs> so many, so many. I mean, it was it was crazy because sometimes you, you labor all day, all night, and days and after days, you don't catch anything. And then so all of a sudden, uh, there was just like, boom! There was that mumbo giant lobster hut. Seriously, I'm grabbing them. I'm talking about like underwater diving. Hawaii is pretty doped out. Uh, I'm not gonna give give away my secret spot, but my dream is in the Bahamas. Oh, uh, yeah, just the rolling around in the 64 yacht. <laughs> 64, well, not a yacht, a catamaran. Uh, so we're tired of winning, but I was eating so much lobsters. I'm tired of lobsters. I mean, you know, I didn't think I was ever going to say that. It was like fresh bursting with flavor, uh, couldn't get it out of the shell, uh, sweetest, the more so's ever. Uh, so, you know, when you when you catch something, when you uh, actually earn something uh, with your hands, uh, with your work, 
there is a reward there's some kind of a endorphin uh, release and that's the way God created so we get pleasure and that's part of the so-called the happiness and uh, that's embedded in our constitution our forefathers said that that in order to pursue that happiness and the government need to take away the shackles so you know what's happening is uh, Oh, we, we're not talking about it. The tax cut, the tax cut. Even people that who hate Trump benefited from the tax cut. And they're still mad at Donald Trump. Uh, you know, somebody said that. Oh, the mandate of Obama, the OCA, didn't come fast enough. How fast do you want it? He said, oh, Donald Trump says as soon as he get in office, he was going to repeal the Obamacare. Well, you have to understand the Leviathan that you had put in there. I mean, uh, this is uh, disgusting. The Democrats are still, like, they're the powerful majority when they're not. Because they can filibuster. Do you, do you know what filibuster means? Uh, look it up. So a filibuster is, is someone that will want to throw a stumbling block in the Congress and the Senate. Uh, they can use this rule. And also that um, the, uh, what you call McConnell, the majority leader, uh, that who cannot just override it because we only have the majority on 51. We cannot override it. We have to get the 60 uh, votes, you see. And uh, that was a tough one with the tax cut. Uh, so... The uh, Obamacare, so-called the mandate that's costing us money, so much money, again, it's shackled. If you feel sorry for your neighbor who's undergoing a surgery who don't have enough money or whatever, then you donate it to them. Don't be pulling it. And then their neighbors, their neighbors, their fifth cousins, uh, that, uh, how many people can you possibly uh, support? <laughs> I don't know. Really. So it's going to be astronomical overwhelming. The, the fact is we cannot support our own family. We cannot be borrowing money uh, day after day after night after night to support these illegals. Uh, they're invaders. Uh, people break into your house. If I break into your bedroom in the middle of the night and then uh, you wake up, you say, what the hell are you doing here? That's an illegal break in entering. You can have me arrested, you can shoot me, in fact. I know some countries, and if you cross their border, they'll shoot you because you're aggressively invading their country. There's a sovereignty. That's why there's a wall. If you try to get over the wall, you try to break in, then therefore, um, I have the right to provoke the citizen's arrest. Uh, you know, at the most, I kick you out. But, you know, if it's a transgression that's... Uh, uh, like that transgression, that stupid, uh, huge truck going by here. <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know how can I afford to drive anymore because uh, Jerry Brown had raised our gasoline taxes on unbearable level, uh, unbearable <laughs> per gallon. Now we're paying at least 50 cents per gallon, just in tax, just in tax. So they don't want you to drive. Uh, they make it so not affordable. And this is how, uh, I need help. I'm in California. I I need help. I'm not, not the only one. Uh, if you see Grindall61, his channel, uh, he's, he's really doing a lot of uh, footwork. He's fighting on the front line. He's going to these town hall meetings. So I encourage you to support and donate to him too because gasolines are so expensive. Uh, and what's happening is people are angry we want to break away but we feel like we're powerless why because uh, one thing after another those that are in control they're probably by illegal votes I, I am totally serious about that because there's no way people in their right minds will say oh come and invade my house and live off me uh, and then do do so and bring more of your own people from so-called the shell places. Uh, seriously, it, you know, just just to be honest, we cannot sustain that. Uh, I don't care if it, you know, it's a crime. I don't, you know, uh, it's uh, so-called there's there's disease, there's there's all sorts of things, right? There's the, the so-called the uh, expensive in social welfare that we have to pay and care for all these people supposedly people everybody comes into your house and you are uh, told by the government you have to take care of them just think of that think of that the government says no you cannot throw them out of your house and yes they can bring in their 
cousins and cousins and grandmas and supposedly whoever that they say they're related it could be all phony you cannot turn them away otherwise we'll arrest you because they represent more votes and that's the reason why california now in uh in not just the sanctuary so-called sanctuary for uh who the invaders they the criminals the criminals when they break into your house they're criminals when they break into my house because our sovereignty is totally invaded and they bring in gangs and ms-13 they cause all these uh um rampant disease so uh, <laughs> i know it's frightening now california it's like the leviathan the beast is angry the the you know how it is right you trample on the serpent the serpent is angry they keep spending our money uh paying uh literally hundreds of millions of dollars even just for consultation from the obama leftover people like eric holder janet uh, uh janet napolitano uh she's a big serpent uh and then she came out with press conference urging those that who intrude their so-called daca to take advantage of the so-called uh, the taxpayer funds to apply for their extension it's 500 dollars a piece and we're already paying for their school in our school system so now now that's not enough the democrats in california just enabled the illegals to obtain all driver's license i mean it has it has been like that for a while it's costing us millions of dollars and their excuse is we're going to give them driver's license even even when they are here oh through no fault of my own through no fault of mine <laughs> it's their fault because if people say encourage you to break into my house and i have to feed you and i have to close you otherwise i go to jail and they're gonna come and with tens of thousands of of their uh, uh i guess uh families and residents i mean i don't give a rat's ass about the race but i'm telling you that they're enabled them to vote because automatically when they register if you've seen the footage uh, uh and i'm not making it up 